guys, what is up? Hi, Ski Nation. Back at it again with another video. Welcome to the vlog, guys. Um, today I'm actually in my office, so I'm giving you guys something better than just uh, my little home setup. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, I showed, I tried to record one before this, but I ended up putting it in portrait mode, which I didn't know what that is. So, anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is called an AD lock. Um, this little piece up here it removes. It's called the antenna. Um, these things usually they'll last the entire lifespan of the actual AD lock and even probably past it um, they never really break but they're pretty cool so basically the way that this thing works is you have a little power bank down here and then you also have a little battery power on this side um, I don't know if you guys can see that so this is the battery bank I was hoping um, I hooked it up together and then it didn't didn't really work I thought that you know it was in our salvage pile so it's probably broken uh, Usually what we do is we take these and if it's broken, we put it in our pile and then we try and fix it to put it on another school or to actually put it back in place or just use it for parts. Um, a lot of these things, you know, things break, things get old, things get corroded and, you know, things like that. So especially when you're using batteries in these, um, you run into the issue where, you know, battery acid will sometimes leak out or like come out into it. So, um, yeah. Let's see, what else can I show you on these? Um, they have a little reset switch right up, no, that's not the right side, right here. There's a little reset switch above here. You see that little gray, like right by my fingertip? There's a little button that resets the whole program. It's really cool, actually. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. Like, I've learned a lot coming into this job. I didn't even know that we had, like, AD locks and stuff like that. I know that we had CM locks, which are, um, it's an older version of this, really. They're just a pain in the butt to work with. So, if you guys don't know about this, you guys can actually take a device and couple it to this. Which, coupling is the same thing as just connecting, like Bluetooth or whatever. Um, but this one, you have to actually plug it in. So, when you plug it into the device, um, there is a little USB port on the bottom of this. Um, once you get it plugged in, you can go ahead and access the controls on it. Which, the way we set these up is since it is a school, you know, we're going to want to keep the kids protected. Especially, you know, in America where we have all these school shootings and stuff like that you know it, it's, it's not good um, i don't like to say that out loud especially my job just because you know i'm at a school well not really a school I'm, I'm i work for the school anyways um <laughs> so anyways these things are really protecting these kids um you guys don't know even if i showed you everything about these you guys still wouldn't know you can go online and find stuff about this you you don't even need to access it um through me but anywho these AD locks are really cool. Um, they have a little yellow, yellow, that's white. I, I'm colorblind. Um, not really. Don't take that word. Um, anyways, this little white button right here, um, it has a little clear button at the very top of it. There's an LED light in there. And what happens is when you click it, it turns green. Now, if you hold it down and press this little lever right here about, you guys probably hear click. All right. So when you click it, hold it down, click it three times, you can couple your device to it, which most of you guys can't because you guys don't have the correct um, program that's connected to them because you have to have our password and our setup and everything like that. So even if you had another device to plug into it, good luck. Arc. When I get signed out on it, it's a pain in the butt to get back in. It's not fun. Anywho, they're really cool. Um... You cannot access this from the outside. You have to be on the inside of the building to be able to get to this. And what it is, is... So this will sit on the inside, and then this is the back side of it. Um, this will go through the door, and it'll connect either up here, or it'll be like that. Um, there's little two back screw holes that this can go into, and then it'll connect to the door, obviously. But um, they're really cool. Um, this is the little unit that you scan your actual card on, and then once you scan it, there is a plug. I don't know if you guys can see this. This little plug. Oof. Just got the hiccups, man. Um, this little plug goes right into the back of this unit, and then you plug it in right underneath this little white piece, and bam, there you go. You got your whole unit set up, and you can go ahead and access stuff. Um, this antenna leads to a box in the ceiling, which the box in the ceiling will go ahead and tell us in our unit, okay, they're safe to get in, and it unlocks the door. If they're not, 
permitted to come in the building, it will deny it. So let's say you're at a high school, but you work in a middle school. Your badge will not work unless we have set you up to work in both facilities, which usually we don't. There's no, there's not, let's see, there's only like one, not even, there's like no one that can access multiple facilities. They can only access the one, especially even in our maintenance department. Um, we set up our maintenance department guys with a badge that gets them into their office and to the common areas, but no one can get into different people's offices. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Those are called an AD lock. Um, this is the other thing I want to show you guys before I take off the cover of it. This is called a mortise lock. And it's got a latch bolt on it, which means that it's basically got a deadbolt on it with a latch. So what it is, is if you see this, if you guys ever played with a door before, you got like the little piece and then you have the big piece, right? So the little piece, if it's in, you can't. You can't open it. If it's out, you can open it. So what the lock does is it goes ahead and it doesn't necessarily push it back out. It just releases it in here. It releases this little bar. So once I push it in on you, you guys can see that going in. It releases that bar to come out, but this actual piece right here will stay in because, you know, it's a closed door. And then that gives this thing access to go ahead and push back and forth. And bam, there you go. It's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to let you guys know that if you ever mess with these locks, good luck getting them back together. Um, I want to say probably my second week on the job, I had to take one of these things apart. And I didn't realize that sometimes when you open the cover, it explodes. So I opened the cover and the whole thing just pretty much blew up at me. And if you guys are wondering how I'm recording this, um, I'm actually on my lunch break right now. I have an hour lunch break, which is super cool. Um, really appreciative to my bosses for that. But anywho, let's go ahead and take, let's see, so it's still got the cover. So I go ahead and cut the little, um, let's go ahead and lay you guys, not lay you guys back like that. So, uh, uh, uh. alright, so I kind of laid back a little bit more. So I cut this little tape right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and try and open it without there we go. All right, so we had one piece that went out of place. I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys close as you guys can see. So, oh, sorry, guys. All right. I'm really sorry. I'm kind of messing you guys up. So that is the cover. Or, well, that's the inside of the unit. So that's how it looks. Um, usually whenever you guys open them like this, they will pop apart. And they're just not fun to try and get back together. Um... But yeah, there's the cover piece. Super greasy. That's why I like this jacket. I can just rub grease all over it and not have to worry about it. Let's see, can I get it back in place? No. Of course, it, won't, it will not go back in place. Oh, man. I think I messed up. It's all right. Um, I got all this stuff from our salvage pile, so I'm not worried about it. If I mess anything up in this, like I'm not really worried about it. That's another thing you don't ever want to do. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see what's not going into place right now. Okay. I know what's not going in place. There we go. I think. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back together. Yeah. So my job was pretty fun. Um, I have a few other things to show you guys. So let me go ahead and put this thing back together. I'll put it all away and I'll grab out my next item for you guys. Yeah. All right. I need to eat on my break too. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, so this is an example of something that we don't use anymore. I had actually removed this from a school because um, when I was there, I realized that this isn't a key that we carry or we can make anymore. Um, 
yeah so this is a little uh, it's for a thumb turn or a actual what do you call it a deadbolt lock they don't really get used anymore we don't we don't mess with these ones Oh, well, these ones, these ones. Um, these don't have an interchangeable core. So this little key hole right there, it's just this cylinder. This cylinder, when you remove it, that's kind of it. Like, you can't really remove it without ruining the entire thing. Um, there's no, like, back access to it. Which, actually, give me one second and I'll grab a screwdriver. We'll take this little back piece off. Alright, guys, so I got a screwdriver. Um, this little back piece, this is called a tail piece. So this tail piece, once you put your key in here, and obviously I don't have a key for this. I don't even have a master key for this. So when you put your key in there, this little tail piece will spin around and it'll access a little um, part on the little mortise lock. Let me grab it back again. I just realized I can use it. So I can't show you guys that the mortise lock will work, well, will work for this one because I don't have a key to it. So let's see. I know it's a flathead, but I'm going to try and take out these screws. Maybe. Where did my other little one go? I know I had a little screwdriver in here that had like a little dollar sign. There we go. A little screwdriver. Not a dollar sign. It has um, something about plumbing, which this isn't a plumbing department, so that's cool. So we're going to go ahead and remove this little tail piece for you guys to see. Um, basically all tail pieces are pretty much different. Um, obviously you can order some that are the same, but usually when we order them, the, um, these are the ones that we order. Um, but tail pieces, that's actually a really thick tail piece. That must have been added on after. That's a tail piece. Uh, but you can see the difference in them. Kinda. <laughs> Chopping stuff. So this is a tail piece. That's the old one, and this is a newer one. I mean, obviously, you can already tell with, like, the difference in shiny and, you know, just what's new. Um, this is one that I actually had to remove from some school, I don't know, for one reason or another. Um, this is just a little cover piece, so whenever you put it into the actual hole, um, you put it into the hole, you'll put this cover on there, so that when it's in there, it looks like that instead of... Um, just a flat piece you can give it some you know some back into it to make it look nice it gives that little front forward look um, this is also known as like a spacer it's for doors that are either too thick or too small um, the smaller ones are for you know if the door is really thick the larger spacers are for the ones if the door is too small um, yeah so let me go ahead and remove this tail piece for you guys and we'll take a look at it and I can already see right now that was a good thing that I removed it because it's got some corrosion occurring on it. Um, well, not really corrosion, it's just turning green. Um, as you can see, this piece, it's literally just a cylinder. That's all it is. Just a little cylinder in there. Um, it doesn't move, so because I don't have a key for it, obviously. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, that's all I can show you. Just the tailpiece comes off, you can remove it, and... That's what I mean. If any of our stuff starts turning green, I don't know if you can really see that. That looks kind of garbage on there. Um, if any of our stuff turns green, we usually either try and knock it off, like, you know, try and scrape it off or whatnot. Or we just go ahead and remove it and uh, replace the entire part just because we don't want any of that kind of spreading. With our AD locks, once corrosion gets into it, that's kind of it. Those AD locks cannot last. Um, but, I mean, obviously, the corrosion takes a little while, so... Even if it's in there, we can go ahead and try and stop it. Um, I actually ran into the issue the other day that... What day was that that I went and checked it out? Um, last Friday. So, it's Wednesday now, so five a week ago? Five days ago? Yeah. Five days ago when I showed up to a school, they were having issues where their key cards weren't working on the door. And I had uh, my other co-worker went out there to look at it and we... We both, we didn't understand what was going on with it. It looked fine. It was working fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check this one out. Try and take the tail piece off and see if I can show you guys anything different about it. Anywho. um, Yeah, so when I went out there, the the unit was working. Like, it, it let you scan your card or whatever, but it kept losing signal. So, check the 
little antenna, and he had already been out there two times and could not figure out what was going on with it. So I was like, I don't know. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I showed up, and sure enough, the antenna was completely corroded. So we're going to have to look at replacing that one soon. Um, so this is what I mean when I said that the other one wasn't a removable core. This is a core that we are able to take out with our own keys. Um, let's see. Bunch of keys. This one is called my core key. So um, you just don't cut the last. I'm going to cover up the other cuts just so you guys don't see them. You don't cut the last um, available cut, which gives it, um, you know, However many pins you guys are using in your keys. There we go. Again. Um, turn to the right, and that'll deactivate the pin, so you can go ahead and pull it out. Super cool. And then, you can pull on this little piece. Um, basically, what happens back here is, you guys can see that flat area. There's a flat area, not that side. Wait, is it that side? No, it's this side. All right, so that side, these two flat areas will line up. When you put it in there, it'll lock in place so that any time that you turn this actual key, it will initiate this, which then... Oh, shoot. I'll, I'll put it back together so you guys can understand. I should have showed you before I took it apart. Come on. I don't think this is the correct tailpiece for this either. Because this is a really, really thick tailpiece. Oh my lord. I'm going to put it back together now. I'll keep talking to you guys though. So, yeah. Uh, when I pulled the AD lock apart, it was just like a bunch of corrosion on the antenna. And, you know, we realized it's got to be changed out. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what... I'm just going to show you guys me putting this thing back together, and then we'll uh, do a little discussion. Well, not really. I'm just going to go ahead and end it. Um, what? What is going on here? All right. Let's try and get this thing back on here. Uh, once I get it back on here, then I'll show you guys how it works, and then we'll just end it there. I don't know if you'd be able to get this thing back on. It doesn't want to line up. Okay, I got one sign to line up. Let's see. <laughs> It won't, like, it won't, alright, so that's not how it's supposed to look, that's way too far off, do you see that gap in there, there's not supposed to be any kind of gap, uh, we're gonna see if it works, cause maybe, just maybe it'll work, but, <clears throat> so anyways, once you turn your key, I'll do it like this so you guys can see it, turn your key, and the tailpiece in the back moves, so, Take this, screw it into our little mortise lock. Um, all locks, all mortise locks are gonna be like this. Um, the threading on it is garbage, which that one actually went in pretty easy, but usually they are horrible. All right, let's see how far I can get it. All right, so usually when you put one on, you won't be able to get it in that far. Um, obviously there's gonna be a door right here that's kind of blocking you, especially with this spacer on it. Because this is, uh, that's like an inch of a spacer, which I don't really need that kind of size, but that's the one that I had on there. So, I'll let you guys watch what happens here. So this thing comes down. Then it, oh. Alright. <clears throat> Maybe it does nothing. What is happening? Alright, well that's the reason that it was in our salvage pile. 
it literally does not work. Yeah, it doesn't work. I'm sorry, guys. Usually when you spin it around like that, it's supposed to go ahead and unlock the door. But, you know, there's a reason it's in salvage, and we just found out why. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I showed you guys what I do for a job. Um, this isn't everything. I actually have a lot more. I, uh, I rekey these. Which actually, it looks like someone tried to grind it down. What the world? Anywho. I take these, I take it out apart, I rekey them, they're, they're just master locked, they're super weird, really weird to rekey. <clears throat> um, also, these detachable cores, we can go ahead and rekey those to any kind of key that we want. Uh, let's see, what else do we do? We do a lot. So, maybe next time you guys can actually come on a little bit of an adventure with me, and we can pick something together. Hmm? Uh, I'm really sorry that I don't really have any kind of action stuff, um, you know, not yet. We're getting there. We're getting there, I promise, okay? Just stick with me. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and then I want you guys to go ahead and hit that bell. Because that bell will tell you next time that I post. I know that some of you guys don't watch my Minecraft videos. It's alright, I understand. They're not uh, good. So <laughs> Some of them are funny, though. I'll let you know. Some of them are funny. And if you want to check out one that's really funny, I'll put it in the description for you guys. Alright, peace out. Mm -hmm.